Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Emily. I'm Hannah. And welcome back to Goddess Sisters. This is just a quick introduction to our latest video, which is... Do you want to tell them? Um, we are going to the Isle of Wight again for a day. <laughs> so we are kind of doing how we do the Isle of Wight in a day part two. Um, kind of more when we do it like during the summer and when it's a bit warmer and what we do. Um, but we thought it'd be quite nice to show you what we're going to be taking. Um, this is just us personally, not everything we're taking um, in our little bag, like in our bags. So I don't know if you want to show them your bag. I think I've seen it, but they have seen it loads of times. But it's just it's a Mickey bag from Primark. It's got ears and then little Mickey uh, gold bits, stars, and bows. But yeah, you've seen it loads of times and a little key charm. I know uh, you've seen this loads as well, but it's just my my standard um, sort of stuff all over it. Black, black, brown um, bag again from Primark that I was gifted um, for Christmas a couple of years ago. So I don't know if you want to go first. One thing we should mention though is we have got one thing that isn't in our bags, and that is um, our phones and our portable chargers that I got you today. Um, shout out to my friend Millie, um, who took me shopping essentially today, and I had the best time. I love you lots. Um, but I've always played some portable chargers from Primark. They were sixteen pounds, and they actually work really well. Apart from Hannah's, doesn't actually my phone. Her, I think her yeah. phone's not compatible. My, um, phone, the charger, my phone charger isn't compatible. Isn't compatible so I'm using M's old phone charger which does fit my phone and it is compatible yeah so <laughs> then in the bags because obviously they're charging and i haven't got my phone because i'm filming on it so yeah do you want to go through yours first i have my phone as we've already what is your phone because i don't think you've actually said it's the samsung galaxy a71 and it has if i can get it no, it has like a ring holder on it because I've already dropped it a thousand times, multiple times a day. Anyway. Sorry, I just went at the door, I had to go and like answer it. Um, next is sunglasses. You don't need to know the backstory of how I got these I'm sunglasses. I'm going to say, are we going to tell them the backstory? You Basically, really we ordered something, that didn't come, but these did. And they, they are... They for the Mac, sorry. No. But they have sunglasses, which I'm so jealous of because they're a brand that I really, really want some sunglasses of. But I'll tell you in a minute, I basically can't wear sunglasses like that. The which case ones? is so nice. We can tell them. Like, basically, we ordered something for my dad. It was a bit of a scam. We're not the only ones who have been scammed out of them, out of what we ordered. But... We've actually got some legit, they are legit, I actually have checked, Ray-Ban sunglasses, which I'm obsessed with. I'm so jealous, but oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. I, like, when it was sunny a couple of days ago, I had them on, but I had to keep taking them off because, um, the little bits on the inside, I don't know what they're called. Um, hang on, I'll just show you. They make me headachey, unless I wear them on and off. It's like the little, the little bits, white bits. It's like here, on yeah. mine. Um, and they make me headachey. Right, what else do you got? So, I have a mask because it's corona. <laughs> Covid's still a thing. So, we need a mask. And then I have tissues. Hay fever. <laughs> Problems. Tissues needed. And then I have this. This is so old, but it's still in. Like, it's still good to use. The Soella Hand of Heart. That is so cleanser. old. Yeah, but... I need to use it, so I keep it in here. Next is my kind of old purse with a unicorn on it and another unicorn on it. The next thing I have are my keys. Keys are keys. <laughs> next I have... Um, <laughs> Alright, keep going, come on. <laughs> Next, 
I have my MP3 player, which I will need to use my portable charger on the way home to charge it because it's only got two bars of battery, which will do possibly halfway. It's only so. two and a half hours on a good one. Yeah, so. To the fairy terminal. If there's stuff on the radio I don't want to listen to, that is very helpful. And polos. I mean, I have the front pocket, but polos. Because I cannot feel great in the car sometimes, and they help. Then in the front pocket, it's just literally a junk pocket. I have a compact. Oh, it's got hair in it. Nice. A brush and a mirror, which I never use because, yeah, I never compact. How many mirrors mirror. do you need? Well, I don't use the mirror in this because it's a hairbrush. Mm, so yeah, but you're not going to need one. any of that tomorrow. Yeah, but it's just in there, so I know where it is. And then I need this tomorrow. And then my Nivea Strawberry Shine lip balm, which I haven't used in ages. Right, onto my bag. Okay, so the first thing I have in my bag is my purse. I got this purse. Uh, a couple of years ago, I think, in... You said Oxford. I want to say Oxford. You said Oxford to me before this video. So. And then, I wanna, then I'm thinking it's York, but we haven't been to York for like five years or something like that. So I want to say I got it in Oxford a couple of years ago. It's seen better days. <laughs> um, it's really tatty and wary now but it's a Marda or Moda accessorised purse and yeah probably way too big to what I should really have but does the job. The next thing I have is my mask, uh, this is just a pink mask, mask paper pink mask from Superdrug, um, I showed it in our last video um, and I a tip for any of you glasses wearers out there, I know this is like, we're well over a year now into this whole pandemic thing, but these are lifesaver, they're literally little metal strips. Don't get the, what ones did you have before? I have plastic ones, they didn't the work. Ones, so. The metal ones work so much easier, the only thing I would say is, because I have them so tight on my nose, I end up with a mark on my nose from where they sit, so it sits, I'll kind of show you. So it sits there and then you bend it over. So that part of your nose, basically like the bridge of your nose ends up with marks on it. But honestly I wouldn't be able to wear masks if it weren't firm because I'd still In the up. last Isla White video she had mask and the one before that she I had, had a, the visor. No, I had the visor in the last one. Oh yeah, that was it. I had visor and mask and ended up just going mask because yeah. the visor on the island <laughs> basically blew away. It did it blow kept, away, it I have it here, off. but it just kept falling off, so mask is a lot easier. And buying these is cheaper than buying the disposable ones repeatedly. So yeah. Next thing I have is chewing gum. Um, this is just in my bag, generally. Um, I have the Wrigley's Extra White Bubble Mint, if anyone's interested, because I find the actual mint ones too strong. Um, the next one I have is a hat. <laughs> I don't put that in my bag, that's like, I'm going to have that by me in the car, that's not going to go in my bag. It's in my bag at the moment, it won't stay in my bag all day, but just in case it gets warm, really. I mean it should be 21 on the island, so. Okay, so the next thing I have is hand sanitizer. This is just a uh, save it savers. Super drug, uh, strawberry and raspberry scented one, and again I've had this years. Probably should throw it. I don't know how long these last, but oh well. Next one I have is my MP3 player. With no earphones. Earphones are down there. I've got to go and get them. Um, this is just a Philips. That's old. It is old. Oh, it's that old. Like that. It's that old. It's the back of it's all scratched. I want one of those. I've had this MP3 player since I was probably like eight, nine. I want one of them. I've had this probably for like ten years. They didn't do a square one, so I've got like a pink rectangle one, like you saw. 
and I was like, oh no, I want a rectangle one. And Dad was like, oh, just see how you go with it. Yeah, I fell in love with it. So. Yeah, it, I mean, it's seen better days. That there, that's the camera. That there mm -hmm. is where I dropped it in our junior school playground. You took it to Abbey? Yeah, I took it to the Abbey. I didn't. Yeah, I took this everywhere when I was younger. And now I only use it because I, it's easier to put music on this than waste my 4G. So I've got that. Tissues, just in case anyone needs them. I gave you them. Okay. And um, my house keys. With um, various versions of Harry Potter on them. Oh, I have them too, but in Hermione and Hermione. And then we both have that one on there. No, I don't have that one. I have a dolphin. Oh. It's a Arlaport Donkey Santa Cure. Never guess where we're going. <laughs> and a long loop one. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we were about to end the video until Well, this part of the video. Well, yeah, but um and then I said I to Em what about lean this? back a bit because this is our It's our portable charger, portable I didn't charger think we'd be able to show you. Do, yeah. But mine charged in time. So if anyone's interested, uh, it's the £16 one from Primark, so it's the biggest one they do. Charges yeah. two devices at a time. I think you, you can charge a phone, like a smartphone, from it from 0 to 100 five times. I think. Oh, what, before it goes dead? Yeah, and it can do a tablet in one go. Like, one charge of that will do a whole tablet. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like portable yeah. chargers and I wish I had them for school because once, quick story, my phone weren't working one day and it went from 100 to 63% by my start of the day to break, then by lunch it was on 1% and I was I had to turn my phone off to lunch till I got home because it wasn't charging and I wish I had this. Um. These are a lifesaver. <laughs> So yeah, so probably next time you'll see us, it will be half three in the morning. Some, yeah, half three or whatever time we get up in the morning, some ungodly hour. What well, we've got the ferry at quarter to nine. Yeah, so. and if you're interested, we're doing the same route as what we always do. Always do. So the route we did with Megan Corner in our last uh, How Do We Do Our Light in a Day video, and the October one's the same as well. So yeah, catch you in the morning. Morning guys, so it is currently 17 minutes past 4 on Saturday, which is the day you're watching this tomorrow, on Sunday, but it, we are going to our awake today, and yeah, been awake about 45 minutes, well, I have, the rest of mum and Hannah took a little bit of waking up but I'm just here watching the sunset the sunset sunrise so it's over there now our lights are well they're switching off now because obviously it's getting lighter but it's so I'm just gonna go downstairs now and get my shoes on I'll show you a quick outfit of the day hang on so I'm just wearing Grey hoodie from Primark, stripy vest top, not sure where it's from, and then shorts are also Primark. It's only about going to be apparently about 20 degrees or something, so probably being a little bit op optimistic with what I'm wearing, but oh well. So I'll try and film a little bit of the way, and yeah, go and see what Hannah's doing. And see you at the very Because we're getting ready to go. On a white hoodie, of course. The play suit I semi had on yesterday, but only for half the day. And then trainers. Done. Where's the play suit from? Quick. I don't know how you say it. Sheen. Shen? Yeah. Hoodie? Mm -hmm. Did you say? Did you say where the hoodie's from? I do Oh. And there's mum. So you just come at the door.
Okay, so you can hardly see me. We've just arrived. Where's Dad? What? Hit like, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're just waiting for the ferry now, which I think we're on it early. I don't know. What time are we meant to be on it? 7.40. And it's now three, pa three minutes past. So I've got a feeling we're going to be on it early. We're going early. So yeah. Um, Mummy's here as well. We've, um, the footage you've just seen of the new forest, we swapped over. So I could film that. So yeah. Onto the boat. So we're on the ferry and there's loads of people. So it's really busy. Quiet, um, but we're on the ferry. You saw clips of. Uh, I think I'm filmed coming on. Yeah. Um, so now she's just showing you what's like all the big. Well, they're not really big, but like boats. These ones aren't. There's some over there that are quite big. Um, and there it is over there. In the distance. Over there. There we go. They can see. So. We'll film again when we're moving. Okay, so we've just arrived. We're in Ride, <laughs> um, and we're just getting some breakfast. Where are you? There you are. Um, the hovercraft's just get, gone out. I tried to get a bit of it, but you can't really get it overly well. Um, yeah, so we're just going to get some breakfast, um, and then we're going to the races, and which I probably won't. I don't know. I might film it. I might not. I don't know because. We've already showed you. We've shown you it, showed you it before, but we'll probably still show you the donkey sent too when we go there after yeah, it. Definitely. And we're going to try and find, on one of these buildings, <laughs> this over here somewhere, there's a webcam, which we found, we've known about it for a while, but we're going to see if, if we walk across the bridge, which we'll show you in a minute, um, we're then going to wind the footage back when we're in the pub and see if we can see ourselves. Nice smell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen, but the little stick thing there that I've zoomed in on, that's the webcam that we're going to try and get on. And then we think if we go up here, which is the crossover bridge for the um, train? Rail, yeah, train line. I was going to say railway line. Um, there's a hovercraft coming back in. Huh? Okay. So over here is the city of Portsmouth over there, and then you've got <laughs> South Sea as well. And then <laughs> basically, I'm filming just so it makes this a bit easier to spot on these webcams. It's easier to spot. Than you have to spot. <laughs> what do you mean? And then back down we go. No. <laughs> We're going to go up into thin air. Oh, shut up. Guys, this is what I deal with, but I'm not worried. Typical. 
Yeah. One day we go to uh, yeah. one, one time we come here, the arcades are shut. Saying that though, it is about what ten to nine. About nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So not a lot of places are open anyway. Braden. Braden? Oh, well, yeah. Oasis is near Braden. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is it? St. Helens? Wait, it's between yeah, Braden St. and St. Helens. I um, just not know her way yeah. around the island. <laughs> you think Which I come here, every, you come here every couple of months, I'd know where I'm going. Um, Clearly not. But yeah, we're going to Oasis and then we'll go to the donkeys because we've got to find them because they've moved with the herds around. So... Yeah, we'll film in a bit.
In your favourite shop, Dad? Whose idea was it to grab a basket and then you've got to fill it? Hmm. No, we haven't. We haven't got to fill this at all. Okay, so it turns out Archie's actually this one here with the collar on. Um, oh gosh, I can't see that. Um, he didn't his collar off at all, so we're having to redo some of the quiz questions that we're doing. Um, but yeah, the little devil's over there. So this herd here is the just Jenny's herd, so a Jenny, I just found out, is a female donkey. So these quiz questions that Hannah's doing, she's got to read all these boards. I'm just kind of looking at them all and yeah. So these are the just Jenny's herd. So we're coming to one of the barns, um, hence why my mask. Um, but this lovely fella here is Augustus and he's with Scooby. Okay. Um, and Augustus is in their new ones. I'm so I think I'm getting a new one. My word! Oh my word! <laughs> the one that's just um, well, sprayed. Yeah, I just stroked it and then it started. I think I have it. Don't think you like you. Yikes, yeah. In here we've got, I want to say that's Frida and Rupert, who are, I want to say mother and son. And then, these are the noisy two. Yeah, Sid Well, yeah, we've got Sid and Dylan. They're best buddies as well. They're best buds as well. Yeah, this quiz is causing more arguments. I think there's anything. I can't remember if I showed you when we last came back in on our last day trip or in October. But this board here, hammer around. Um, this is basically their like memorial garden, and Poppy's Hannah's old donkey is just there. If I can, there you go. Um, so this is kind of for all. The ones that they've lost um, since 2016. This is something I can't remember if I showed you when we last came back in on our last day trip or in October. But this board here, hammer around. Um, this is basically their like memorial garden, and Poppy's Hannah's old donkey is. Just there, if I can, there you go. Um, so this is kind of for all the ones that they've lost um, 
since 2016. So whilst Mum and Hannah finish off his quiz, this board here literally covers every single donkey that they have here. So, um, Jack the Rock. Huh? I recommend Archie, but we've just yeah. been told he um, has surpassed Poppy, not Bella. Poppy, no. Bella, as the most yeah. popular adopted donkey here yeah. in the entire san sanctuary. Um, but I think if you scan these QR codes, you can literally then adopt any of them. Uh, which is It's been like this for a while, but when we started coming, when I was really young, there was literally one herd with adopted adoption donkeys on it and our children of them so I and mean, there's now 10 herds so enjoying the day you've not you've not done any vlogging really at all like and subscribe <laughs> said that today get the message across <laughs> uh, how can you end up with Hannah's phone so this is the what has this miniature mischief I think, um, and this little one here, Bella, is the most um, adopted female on site. Fatchi is the most adopted out of all of them, and he's male. I want to say she's the most adopted female. Shetland Seniors! But yeah, we've just worked out, we've counted all these, we've got another adoption board up here which I just showed you down there. And there's a herd on there that isn't on this board. So we've got to think it's a trick question, but we're just about to leave. Not that I want to go because I could spend all day here. But it's one o'clock and we've got five hours until we leave. <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta get a move on. Okay, so I don't know how you're going to be able to hear this, but we're, going we're now in sea. we're now in Sandown after uh, walking around Shankton, well driving around Shankton for like half an hour trying to find a spot and um, come up the coast to Sandown. This sea is actually a bit cold. This sea is really cold, but we're told. Dad, that it's really cold. If it's really cold, you won't go in it. So yeah. Tried to make it really warm, but look, I'm not even coming Like, who needs to go abroad Hello. when you've got who this? <laughs> well, you can't really. I mean, obviously, we can't go deep because we haven't got a spoon like quite stuck like that. No. We can paddle. Oh my God, that's like that. I have to go See, normally I'm on my uniform, so I'm not normally getting wet. Well, I am, so like, here we go. Shall I go back? Shall I convince you that it's warm? He's probably already realised that it's not warm. We yeah. live in England. Like it's on the southeast part of England, really. We can always take them on that. Hey, up! I'm gonna make you one. Good job! Well, that's bloody long. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so we're still on the beach, but we've just seen a cruise ship come around the cliff, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've just had a look on this cruise mapper tab on my phone that I have, um, and it's the Gunard ship Queen Victoria. Um, so we're having a bit of a walk, and hopefully I'm going to try and get some footage and some photos of it. So. Um, whilst well, I'm also going to get some clips obviously of us on the beach and stuff so yeah we're going to see if we can um, get some clips of it because it's quite far out so I'm hoping the camera will pick it up So, Dad, what's going on with the uh, footwear? Look at the top there, I tell you, 
wondering what is it's a Piper. What is Kevin's Piper? <laughs> if you are wondering what's happening, basically, Dad's flip flops are covered in full of sand and we can't get the sand off. So um, he's wearing a um, second pair of flip flops. Beautiful. So we've left Sandown and now we're in Freshwater Bay having something to eat before we go back to the ferry. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, the clip you've just seen is the rocks, basically. Oh, you're about to see, I don't know. Depends how Emma does it. But we're having something to eat. And we're sat with a sea view and a bench. And it's really cold. So. We'll film again when we can. Okay, guys, so we're now on the ferry on the way, ready to go home. Um, after Freshwater, we've just popped into Yama. We just went down there to um, Gossip's Cafe, which we've been to before just to get some pudding, essentially. And. Um, got some pictures on the little beach which I will insert here. I don't really know where Dan Hannah got home. They've gone to look at some biscuits or something in the little cafe thing um, downstairs. Um, so, yeah. Um, we are coming back here in October. Um, we've got no plans to come here during the like, again till then. But you never know. And. Yeah. Perhaps not what? Um, oh. Hi. Hi. Take it you didn't get the biscuits. No. They didn't have any. Uh. <laughs> I just said that we're leaving. We can't even see my face. <laughs> so I think we'll probably end this vlog here. Um, we hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you again in another video. Bye!